Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Bryant coming at you with another video. This is a um, update video for my one 350 scale Enterprise refit or the A, whichever you prefer. Same ship basically. Um, this is just an update video. I haven't really done anything to the ship in quite a, long, a while. The reason being because I'm actually um, this, you know, I'm actually going to explain it to you in this video. Is the reason why I haven't been working on it. Um, really, I haven't been working on anything, as you can see. Everything looks basically about the same since the last few videos. Um, basically, it's just too cold to really work on anything right now. Um, here in South Carolina, it's the, the the temperature is just too cold, and trying to paint outside, things don't when it's cold cold things don't uh, dry right so that's why I just haven't been working on anything uh, the last time I worked on I think was the runabout which was a few months ago um, actually I have been working on it recently I um, had to fix some things um, but anyway about the refit the 350 scale refit this is it right now just sitting here on this pedestal lights and all of that but um shows and think about some things and looking at uh, other pictures and stuff and looking at this particular model I'm kind of not very satisfied about a lot of how a lot of this stuff came out so I've actually come to the conclusion I'm redoing it um not necessarily redoing the whole entire ship just certain parts um, I'm about to um I'm actually about to line out or line up the changes I'm planning on making with you right now but um like there's a few things that I haven't really changed on it so I'm actually planning on doing some stuff to it at some point in the future but I guess more or less when it starts getting warmer um the first thing uh just going over the things that have been completed like the uh VIP lounge right here that has been completed but that's been completed for some time now um not quite sure. I'm keeping the room, but I'm not sure if I'm actually planning on redoing the saucer itself. Um, we'll see. Um, the arboretum is done, which you can't really see. It's right here. Can't really see it, but it's done. The inside is done, not the outside, of course. As well as the shuttle bay and the officer's wreck which is kind of hard to get it from this view because it's on the side over here of the saucer uh so moving on the things on uh the problems i'm having with it is first of all and it may just be me my bed is it, are directly across from where all these sh ships my bed is directly across my bed is directly across from where these ships are sitting so every now and then I have I had a tendency to look over here and of course I look directly at the Enterprise because it's the biggest the biggest ship over here uh, compared to Galactica and the Cylon the Defiant and Voyager anyway um, the Titanic I don't have it up here it's actually down here on the floor I haven't been working on that either uh, but I've noticed in it and Feel free to let me know if, if I'm wrong. But it seems like the saucer is kind of tilting forward a little bit. But the rest of the ship seems straight, but the saucer seems tilted. So that's one one of my gripes about um, about it. Uh, the second thing is uh, some of these Raytheon lighting effects. I'm actually I'm planning on deleting, like uh, the. Uh, secondary hall, this uh, pennant lighting, because you uh, if I put the decal there, there'll be a star for the decal there, pennant decal. I'm planning on getting rid of those on both sides, as well as the nacelle uh, registry. I'm considering, I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of those, but I'm thinking another thing, um, the Raytheon lighting for the neck, this section right here, I'm uh, getting rid of that too. I don't like it. And I, from what I've seen, nobody does it. This is what was recommended for the kit I have, but I think I'm not going to do it. Um, I just think it just looks weird looking like that. Um, but very dark, so 
And I just noticed some of the other lights weren't on. And that's another reason. That's another thing I'm doing too. Um, the lighting, the the, uh, the the shuttle bay is, is dark. So I, I might have to redo something there to make make it a lot darker. I mean, a lot light, you know, a lot more broader. Because I, I did all that work on the shuttle bay, and if it's dark, it's like, okay, I just kind of basically flushed that down the toilet. Um, also, there's a lot of fitment issues with, like, the pylons here, as well as the secondary hull right there. You can see all the fitment issues I'm having, um, as well as back there in the back. I'm also considering to see if I can find a different way of doing the uh, the running lights, the, the, the shuttle, uh, what they call tracer, tra chasing lights, um, you know, with the the runway kind of lights, if anybody's not sure what I'm talking about, those that I have on the ship. Um, I'm thinking about trying to find something different than that, something that's going to be more flush, so that the uh, shuttle bay could fit inside um, better than what it is currently. Also, the thing I was saying earlier, the inside of there, you know, that mess of wires is in there, there's a short somewhere, um, which, that's why my lights weren't on earlier. They should have been on, but they weren't on, and I had to wiggle a light, I mean, one of these wires to get them to, basically, to, to come on. So you can see I'm wiggling, and it's flashing. Um, so that's going to have to be fixed, so I'm going to have to, um, and with those, what was going to have to happen, I'm going to have to take those walls apart and then un unglue them and all of that, but I'm actually ordering whole new wires, uh, harnesses for both sides of the, uh, the, the secondary hole. Um, also, which would be a little bit easier for me to do the shuttle, the interior lighting for up here for the shuttle bay, it'll be a lot easier for that too. So, um... I'm just going ahead and go through go through with that also. Um, the saucer itself, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it as is or I'm going to switch it. I feel like it, I'm, there's going to be a fitting issue with the walls. Uh, there is a fitting issue. I, I'm sure sure it is because I was looking at this the other day. Um, not the other day. It was a little while ago. And I know some of the walls are sticking out you know, further than it's just how I glued them in. Um, I wish they figured out a better way to do that because I'm like that's that's it's hard to to do really. Um, other than that, that's really it. That's that's my plan changes. So uh, the shuttle bay, I'm not quite sure what exactly was going to happen with that because I have to pull that apart uh, if I end up getting um, better lights or whatever. Um, so we'll see with that but I'm gonna have to order a whole nother kit because I'm gonna need new parts I do have some parts from the second kit uh, that I, I, I bought a little while ago um, but I'm gonna need new parts and it's just better if I just get a whole new kit instead of me trying to salvage what I have because it's just not gonna work and I re I kind of rather just start from scratch anyway well, not start from scratch but you know just retcon or whatever uh, you want to call it just do what I want to do. Base is probably going to stay the same. I'm not really changing anything with that. I love um, lighting the extra lighting I put in there because you know it has the extra effect. Especially if I don't want to have the lights on. Oh yeah, speaking of wiring, the chaser lights. I want to. They're not wired in right. So basically, as soon as I plug in the base, the, ch the chaser lights in the shuttle bay are they they stay on. And what I want to do is either A, wire in with the main boards as soon as I push this button, they come on, or B, wire that they have their own, but I just want well, those to come on uh, for whatever reason. So that's something planned also. So I think I'm gonna I'm start on this sometime when it starts getting warmer again. Also, uh, some of the other ships, because uh, I'm tired of having these projects I'm not really doing. <laughs> I get to a certain point and then I move on and they're not actually done. Um, yeah, I guess I have a 80 HD or ADD or whatever you want to call it. So um, we'll see because I have a lot of them. Um, 
so we'll, we'll go from there you'll see some uh, updated videos with the next couple months um, about that probably nothing soon because I haven't again I haven't been working on anything uh, so that's nothing really the video um, but thank you all for watching I'm sorry for rambling uh, keep on modeling and I'll see you in the next video